Hello, welcome back to Whiskey Wednesday. Another Wednesday, another whiskey review with me, Joe. So this week, a whiskey that I've had in my collection for a long, long time, Johnny Walker Double Black. Now, Johnny Walker, the most ubiquitous whiskey brand in the world, one of the most well-known brands generally in the world. Um, they make possibly the best-selling Scotch whiskey, Johnny Walker Black Label 12 year old. This is the Double Black, launched, um, I think in 2008, sometime around that, don't quote me on that. Um, but it was launched first in duty free in the travel retail market. It then did so well there that they thought they'd bring it out into the mass market. So it'll, it's, a, it's available for more good, um, you know, whiskey retailers online and around the world. It's bottled at 40% in this rather opaque black looking bottle, really smart, and the idea is, it's a brand new bottle by the way, I haven't opened before, the idea is that it's a peatier, richer version of the black label, so pour out a nice drum, now Johnny Walker uses mainly Cardu, it uses Talisker, Kalila, uh, Klein Leash, uh, like a Vulin and other whiskies in, in the blend but Cardu is the main one and then the smokiness will come from the Talisker, from the Kalila, from the, from the Lagavulin basically all the Diageo distilleries and others it contains grain whisky as well and it, you'll notice it's a non-age statement, it doesn't have an age statement which basically means they've used a blend of ages, different ages so they've used some old and some young because the young whiskey adds kind of vibrancy, adds youth, adds kind of adds on almost zestiness, and the older whiskey will add complexity. Non-age statement whiskey does not mean it's bad. There are some fantastic, fantastic examples of non-age statement whiskey. So it all comes down to what you're drinking and what you're enjoying. Forget age, forget age statement because it's all about the whiskey you're enjoying. So let's give it a nose. Oh, beautiful. Now straight away, you're getting the kind of smoky cereal notes. So, you smell like grain whiskey. That kind of light, citrusy kind of, it's like vanilla, but it's, it's peaty as well. So kind of smoked barley, cereal, Almost like kind of like a licorice you notice as well coming through. There's a kind of a, a sweet treacle note. Grassiness. Yeah, you can definitely get a sense of the grain whiskey in this. But also that smoky malted whiskey as well. Malt whiskey. I also get uh, heatheriness, heather notes, and that kind of seaweedy, briny peat. Okay, let's give it a taste. You know what? It's been about a year and a half since I've tried that whiskey, and obviously I've brand new opened it. I actually forgot how damn good it was. That is a superb, superbly made whiskey, in my honest opinion. You get multi layers of flavour. It starts off with that kind of sweet, kind of vanilla-y, citrusy grain, and then it hits you with peat, it hits you with licorice, treacle. A little bit of toffee comes through and then as it's kind of finishing off on your palate the kind of grain notes come back so that kind of spice citrus the kind of biscuity barley let's have another taste the smell now is almost kind of nutty kind of almonds smoked hazelnuts bacon all right have another taste Mm. 
Hmm. Yeah. Smoky bacon. Pepper. A little bit of kind of beef jerky, meat stock. And it's got like a dry, spicy finish as well. You know what? And the finish as well, especially as it's non-age statement, the finish is staying with me. It's that kind of smoky, peaty, and that slightly sweet finish coming through as well. I think it's superb whiskey. It really, really is. And I remember again, when I tried this for the first time, I was doing a few whiskey tastings with people, and I put this in as a, a blind tasting within you know, five malt whiskies, and everyone thought it was a malt whiskey. So it just goes to show that just because it's blended, just because it's not, not a statement, it does not mean it's crap. Johnny Walker Double Black is a very, very good whiskey. For my money, it's around about £40 a bottle online. For my money, it is an 8.5 out of 10 if you like your whiskies smoky, peaty, I think it's a cracking little whiskey. And as well, it's easy drinking as well. Which, if you don't want to think about your whisking, you just want like a nice smoky little whiskey, it's perfect. I'd love to taste it about on about 46%, but I'm never going to be able to do that. So, if you've tried the Johnny Walker Double Black, please leave me a comment in the box below. Please share the video. And I will see you next week for yet another whiskey review with me, Joe. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye.